Safety is important to J.H. Kelly, first and foremost, because we want everybody to go home the same way they came in. The hands do what the head tells them to. Every day, each person needs their head in the game, focused on the task at hand. Hands are the biggest tools a person has. You work with your hands, and a lot of our tools that we use are hand tools. We don't want to see anybody hurt. We don't want a family to suffer from somebody even being hurt. If you lose your finger or your hand, your quality of life has changed forever. This is my, uh, my hand I cut off. All my fingers were cut off right through here. This chop saw that I was using, I used it for like two or three years. I wasn't really scared of the chops anymore. I was very blessed and lucky that I was working in San Francisco where they took me to the hospital and, and five digits put back on. They put my thumb back on, but it died later, so they had to cut it off. The first thing that we encourage our employees to use is a pre-task plan. Discussing all the tasks on hand, the safety procedures. It talks about what is our task to begin with, what are the ways we're going to complete the task, what are hazards associated with that, do we have body parts or hands or arms in the bite. Safety materials that should be used to keep people's hands safe are provided with the tool and the task that we are doing. Gloves, long sleeves, it's, it's pounded into our heads from day one to use the proper gloves, use the proper tools. You know, you definitely want to protect your hands. I, I constantly wear my gloves. It's very rarely that I take them off. One of the big things that is misused is one hand on a two-handed tool. It's really important that you don't try to stabilize or hold on to a piece of material. You need to have two hands on that tool to use it properly. The most blatant misuse of tools is often in the disassembly process. We need to make sure that all tools are completely disconnected from power before beginning any disassembly. I think a big thing is just hand placement. Obviously we talk about it day in and day out, but people get comfortable and you have a lapse of judgment. Placing your hands in the bite with a bridle uh, has resulted in an injury within J.H. Kelly. and He put it through the hook latch and dropped it and it landed on his finger. The right way is, is watch his hands and then I grab the latch. Make sure that you're never in a position where you can't quickly react and get yourself out of harm's way. The proper use of cribbing and dunnage allows for us to safely land objects on a surface where we can keep hands, toes clear of the object. Things are held up and off the ground so they can be rigged, picked, and moved efficiently. We had a guy get injured, so what he did was he grabbed a two by four, he stood it up where it caused this two by four to roll, it pinched his thumb between a plywood floor and a piece of two by four. This would be the right way to do it. Double stack two by fours on the wide side. My hands are then free and clear of pinch points. This isn't gonna roll out of the way. A well-planned, well-placed body is a useful tool for being productive as well as safe. The, the greatest tool for hand safety is right here. It has to be a mindset. The most valued resource we have at J.H. Kelly is our people and the most valuable asset they bring to the table are their hands. Let's keep them safe.